How's it going, people? Thought I'd play this. It's an old um, sampler from Tower Records. The late and lamented Tower Records. Thought I would uh, have myself a little beer. This came highly recommended at BevMo. It's a green beer. That is green technology. Yeah. I think there's about five drinks and uh, there's Alma 25. Mmm, pretty. Summer solstice. It's about, that's about right. Summer solstice. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. I like. Yeah. Chapter 25. Oh, and it does start with a drink, so I'll have another. All right, let's go ahead and look at this masthead. Hopefully it doesn't give away the dado ma. Lamanite aggressions. All right, that's kind of predictable. Um, vengeance by Amulonites, martyrdoms, further fulfillment of a Benedite's prophecy. Oh boy, Benedite. <sighs> Verse 1, and behold, now it came to pass, I tried to cover up these, it came to pass as with as many preceding words as they can. It's a little different this time. <laughs> mm. That those Lamanites were more angry because they had slain their brethren. Therefore, they swore vengeance upon the Nephites, and they did no more attempt to slay the people of anti-Nephi-Lehi at this at that time. Two, but they took their armies and went over into the borders of the land of Zarahimla and fell upon the people who were in the land of Ammonihah and destroyed them. Oh, a little footnote. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, we're backtracking. Uh, it's C. Uh, Alma 8. <laughs> yeah, they already destroyed them, so I guess this is a very unclear timeline. <laughs> oh, I was going to have another drink and I forgot to. All right. Three. And after that, they had many battles with the Nephites, in the which they were driven and slain. Four. And among the Lamanites who were slain were almost all the seed of Amulon and his brother who were the priests of Noah, and they were slain by the hands of the Nephites. Makes sense, since they were fighting the Nephites. Otherwise, it would have been friendly fire, right? Five. And the remainder, having fled into the East Wilderness. The East Wilderness, okay. Whatever. And having usurped the power and authority over the Lamanites, cause that many of the Lamanites should perish by fire because of their belief. Six. For many of them, after having suffered much loss and so many afflictions, began to be stirred up in remembrance of the words which Aaron and his brother had preached to them in their land. Therefore, they began to disbelieve the traditions of their fathers and to believe in, and to believe in the Lord. 
and that he gave great power unto the Nephites, and thus there were many of them converted in the wilderness. 7. And it came to pass... Uh, that is nice. Maybe I'll take that camera. Uh, that those rulers who were the remnant of the children of Amulon caused that they should be put to death. Yea, all those that believed in these things. Eight. Now this martyrdom caused that many of their brethren should be stirred up to anger. And there began to be contention in the wilderness, and the Lamanites began to hunt the seed of Amulon, Amulon and his brethren, and began to slay them, and they fled to the east wilderness. This is verse 8, so I'm not repeating myself. Nine, and behold, they are hunted at this day by the Lamanites. So, at least up to the time of Mormon, they're still being hunted, I guess. Uh, thus, the words of Abinadi were brought to pass. I'll drink to that. They were brought to pass. <sighs> which he said concerning the seed of the priests who caused that they should suffer death by fire. 10. For he said unto them, What ye shall do unto me shall be a type of things to come. 11. And now Abinadi was the first that suffered the de death by fire, because of his belief in God. Now, this is what he meant, that many should suffer death by fire according as he had suffered. Because he said that way back in, I guess it was on my eight. I don't know where the fuck it was, it's been so long. <laughs> thought it was in Mosiah. That was a good one. <laughs> I haven't played this in years. I don't know what to expect on it. <laughs> Twelve. And he said unto the priests of Noah that their seed should cause many to be put to death in the like manner. That was a Benedi. Thanks for giving him that idea. Dickhead. <sighs> it burned him good. Then they burned Noah. For burning him. And then I still can't figure out why all those people uh, in Ammonihah, all the wives and children were burned and nobody did anything. Yeah. But Ammon Jr. and his pals came, came out just fine. <sighs> in a like manner as he was. Yeah, put to death. Um, And that they should be scattered abroad and slain, even as sheep, having no shepherd, is driven and slain by wild beasts. And now because... Wait. And now behold, these things were verified, for they were driven by the Lamanites, and they were hunted, and they were smitten. Thirteen. And came to pass. Lucky drink. Ah. That when the Lamanites saw that they could not overpower the Nephites, they returned again to their own land. And many of them came over to dwell in the land of Ishmael and the land of Nephi and did join themselves 
to the people of God. Who were the people of anti-Nephi? Anti-Nephi-Lehi. Anti-Nephi-Lehi. Explain it to me, please, somebody. It's going to give me a hemorrhage. Fourteen. And they did also bury their weapons of war. Because it works so well for the anti-Nephi-Lehi's. It is... My arm's getting tired killing these guys. I give up. They win. According to their brethren, uh, had, according as their brethren had, and they began to be a righteous people, and they did walk in the ways of the Lord, and did observe to keep his commandments and his statutes. Isn't a statute a commandment and a commandment a statute? They mean the same thing. <sighs> Oxymormons. <laughs> we need a new uh, word for to put in the dictionary there. Yeah, oxymormon. Or they say the same thing twice because they need to. <laughs> they got too much gold to write on. They, they need to fill it up. Make it a little bigger. Fifteen. Yea, and they did keep the law of Moses, for it was expedient that they should keep the law of Moses, as yet. Uh, for it was not all fulfilled. But notwithstanding the law of Moses, they did look forward to the coming of Christ. Is it his coming or his leaving that you're more interested in? Considering that the law of Moses was a type of his coming. Huh? <laughs> and believing that they must keep these outward performances until the time that he should be revealed unto them. 16. Now, they did not suppose that salvation came by the law of Moses, but the law of Moses did serve to strengthen their faith in Christ. And thus they did retain a hope through faith. And yeah, because they were waiting for the Messiah before the exile. <laughs> yeah, and the Roman occupation. They were wanting a Messiah from the very start. And that's why they got Saul, and then David, and then Solomon. Who were all sons of God, by the way, and anointed. <sighs> okay. And thus they did retain a hope through faith unto eternal salvation, relying upon the spirit of prophecy, which spake of those things to come. 17. And now behold, Ammon and Aaron and Omner and Himni and their brethren did rejoice exceedingly for the success which they had had among the Lamanites, seeing that the Lord had granted unto them according to their prayers and that he had also verified his word unto them in every particular. That's it for 25. <laughs> so, it's all, it's all foretold, you know. Everything led up to this. And now this. And finally, till, I guess, the rapture, which happens sometime tomorrow, I, I don't know. Um... <laughs> I got other plans. I think I'll go fishing. Peace. The fuck. Out. I'll see you guys uh, in the next rolling chapter, if you're still around. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having.